The victors valiant, the conquering heroes, and they call home the big house. Bathed in maize and blue, welcome to Ann Arbor, home of the Michigan Wolverines. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here. You know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Arkansas State Red Wolves taking on the ninth-ranked team in the land, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the Red Wolves will kick it away to start us off. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Michigan's offense takes the field to start this game off. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big... He's loose. He's at the 30. Inside the 10. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Wolverine. What a way to start this game offensively. You find the matchup you like, you put it in his hands, and he does the rest. The defense looks like they were sleepwalking out there to start this game. One play, they go the distance to score a touchdown. This defense better wake up. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. That one's going to get a little star marked beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So Arkansas State's offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job on it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. From the gun, the ground game. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Facing a third down and short from the 26. It's a draw. Sweet cut there. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. The Red Wolves have it with a first and 10. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Nice job, defense. You always hear people talk about tackling the catch. You saw it right there. There was nowhere for that receiver to go once he had possession. As a result, no game. And here comes the offense on second down. Pulls it and fires to the left. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that. 
Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Throws to the wideout. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. That's one thing this defense takes a lot of pride on. They like tackling the catch, and they like being around the ball. That time, he was in proximity to knock that thing loose. Nice physical play. And the Red Wolves will send out the punt unit. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. A quick strike touchdown up top the last time they had it, Jesse. They'd love to do it again. No doubt. They've got so many playmakers on the perimeter, David. Just find a way to get these guys the ball in space. And you already started, man. Making that big play, opening up this offense. This quarterback is feeling good about himself. I wouldn't be surprised if they give it right back to him. Second down coming up. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Wants to throw. It's Orgy. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they going to do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is going to need to make some adjustments. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. The gift to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. The delay of game pushes the offense back. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. Outside the pocket, lets it go. And the pass is intercepted. Didn't let him get loose on the return, but he'll take it as they have the ball at the 47. You know, I like the decision by the quarterback in terms of where he was going with the ball. Just don't like the accuracy. That was not good location on the throw. Got away from him a little bit, and the defense able to come up with a big pick. The offense lining up for a first down play. To the air, it's Rayner. Unloads to the wideout. Complete to the right. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field, and they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. They'll throw it on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Stevenson. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. That's a great example of the defense there tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. And now on second down for this offense. Wide receiver coming across in motion. The give to the tailback. 
And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Third down, and this crowd will blow out a vocal cord to help this defense. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first down. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. Takes the handoff. It's Croft. Defense there to stop him after a pickup of two down to the 15. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. After picking up a couple at second and eight. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And that ball is live in the backfield. How about that alert play from the defense to corral that fumble? Right down the gun of the field. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Michigan. Not content to get the fumble. They scored with the fumble. And that's just the guy you want to find that football. The ball's loose. Who do you want to get it? One of your little fast guys. The defensive back picks it up and turns on the afterburners. Takes it all the way back for the touchdown. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. They're just about to kick it off after that scoop and score six. Oh, he's going to bring it out. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Arkansas State has it ready to go to work on offense. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. The quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. I like offenses being creative. I'm not sure if that was the best place to call that play. I think this offense needs to think about just doing things a little bit more by the book. They've got a lot of good playmakers. You don't have to reinvent the wheel this early in the game. Back to throw. It's Rayner. Fires to the wideout. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. Love the effort on defense that time. That looked like that was going to be a completion downfield, but the physicality of the defender jarred the ball loose. The Red Wolves will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He's got great speed, and the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Quarterback on the keeper. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great job staying home by the defense there. Offense trying to go option. The QB keeps it, but you see the great assignment football. Everybody's staying where they're supposed to be, and they're able to rally to the quarterback and tackle him for a loss. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Looking for a gap. It's Edwards. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. 
again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. It's incomplete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Man, this quarterback is living dangerously right now, guys. Of course, we're only in the first quarter. This guy's already thrown one pick. He should have thrown his second right there. And the Wolverines will punt it away on fourth down. And that is how a punter helps out his defense, pinning them deep in their own territory. Guys, we'll see if this Red Wolves offense can get moving. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this run. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Not much there. He gets one to the 11. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone. Stay balanced. You've got a third and manageable backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Looking downfield, it's Rayner. Finds a man on the right. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. We're through one period, and these receivers are showing out big time. Take a look at the stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. Comes out throwing on first down. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. It continues to be a long day as they are just swarming every time he gets the ball. And stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Third and long situation, we're bringing an extra DB on the field, and we're telling our front guys to pin your ears back and go get the QB, and they get the job done. And the Red Wolves decide to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. 
They're going to ride this running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. Leaves it with the back. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? To the ground to try to pick up the first. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. I don't need it to be pretty. I just need my inches. Third down and inches. Nice job by getting the first down. Always fall forward. Play physical. Don't get east and west. Stay north and south. Nice job by the running back. The Wolverines are marching down the field. They'll leave it with him. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for him. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Handoff from the gun. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short gain. Now on third down, this offense has been rolling. Can the defense stand tall? Scanning the field, it's Orgy. Pass is incomplete, but a lot of contact there. I think it's going to be pass That's interference and a first down. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Just does not like to be tackled, discarding guys and getting to the 21. This running back just doesn't go down easy. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not overly huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, yeah, you know what, let his talent do the rest. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Looking for space. It's Edwards. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. It's a really nice job of the offense mixing it up on this drive. We've seen some nice plays throwing it. And how about that one running it, too? Great push up front. And the Wolverines will snap it on first and ten. Power football with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And if you want to bring all your tight ends in the game, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring in more linebackers, more defensive linemen. Get ready for the run. Less speed on the field, especially when you get down here in the red zone. I feel like I can match up man-to-man -man with those tight ends in the back end. Nice job understanding a run was coming. They'll try the run. Aaron is trying to bash it forward. He got a couple. It's down at the 11. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Looking for a man. It's Orgy. Moves around to clear up the vision. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Wolverine. Football oftentimes gets won by the teams who play the best on the critical down and distances. What an amazing play by that quarterback on third down. Able to put his team on his back, use his legs to extend and buy time, and then go score. Awesome job.
He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. That drive covered 57 yards for the touchdown. And it was much weighted by an 11-yard run for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. The returner will field it and bring it back. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Arkansas State ready to go back to work on offense. To the air on first down. Makes his connection. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And it is well blocked as they pick up enough for a first down. Man, it's so nice to have a quarterback who doesn't flinch. You watch it, man. He's hanging in there, right? Hanging in there. Takes some time for those routes to get down the field. Gets hit as he throws it, but delivers the ball, a catchable ball down the field, and makes the big play. Nice toughness by that young man. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll run it from the gun. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. The Red Wolves racing to the line in the hurry up. Off the play fake. Got a man, it's Jackson. Just what they were looking for, and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and 10. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to throw. It's Rainer. Had to throw it before he wanted. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time, getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. They were really starting to put a drive together. But after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. Snags it, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas State! That is what we call in the industry a defensive breakdown. That guy was loose for the big play. Uh, busted coverage, uh, really, really bad execution. Somebody slips, somebody falls. Nothing about that defensively is something you're looking for, but the offense will take it and, and get the easy touchdown. to attempt the try. And after the extra point, they're now down 21 to 7. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score comes on a 35-yard pass for six. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Looking to go up top on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, that looked like it was going to be a completion, but how about the defender making the hit, forcing the incompletion? The incomplete pass leaves them with second down. To the air. It's Orgy. Quickly complete. When receivers are running slant routes against main coverage, sometimes you get open using speed, but sometimes it's pure physicality. This receiver 
does a great job using his hands, and then he's able to fight his way to the inside. At the end of the day, he just wanted that football more. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. Offense facing fourth down. The Wolverines send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Arkansas State has it ready to go to work on offense. The last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they can go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. Forges ahead, picks up about three to the 29. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Back to pass. It's Rayner. They're bringing heat. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody in the back end expecting throw. And that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. And the Red Wolves will line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop and they'll mark it at the 39. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. They've been the height of efficiency here in the first half, David, and you've got to think they're going to try to click it right down the field here. When you're looking at your playbook and it's worked so well in the first half, I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing, Palmer, because it's been all gas. Oh, that's right. Strike while the iron's hot, too, before this defense gets to go in at halftime to potentially make some adjustments, show you some different looks in the second half. Whatever you've been doing, it's working. Keep it up. They'll snap it from the 39, first and 10. Finds his target down the middle. And he's down after the short completion. He did not make it to the first down marker. Well, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest and you can't just dink and dunk outside. You gotta work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. Line getting set on second down. The play action fake. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude. And you could tell they put the hit on him. And that ball came out and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Unleash is one. Another incompletion on third down. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. They'll pass on the 48-yard field goal attempt and instead try to pick up the first down. On fourth down, they'll run it looking for the first. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. First down here for the offense. Looking to move it through the air. Finds a spot in the middle. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Line gets set, first down. He's going to pass. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. I don't know if the quarterback read the coverage properly on that one, but obviously the result is an incompletion. The 
incompletion brings us to second and ten. To throw, it's Rayner. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the right. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. The Red Wolves with the first and ten. He wants to throw. Makes the grab on the left. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. Quarterback and receiver on the same page there on the curl route. Nice job by the receiver finding the soft spot in zone and just settling down, making that throw a whole bunch easier. Snap's going to come from the 23 on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the middle. It's caught downfield. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Red Wolves! Number nine. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. Ready to try the point after. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. And the returner will be dragged down. They've got the big fellas out there, a three tight end look on first and ten. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, it is tough to beat the big house when it's full and rocking as it is today in Ann Arbor. And the story of the half has been that elite corner. We were told he was tough to throw against. He's basically taken away an entire side of the field when he's out there, causing turnovers and getting physical. How often do we say that about lockdown guys and how this offense schemes against him in this second half will be fun to watch. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas in the booth at Michigan Stadium. He'll bring it out. It's cross. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Guys, we'll see if this Red Wolves offense can get moving. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. I wonder if I can quote the great Reese Davis. That was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Pushes the pile for a couple of yards down at the 12. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run. They've got them pinned deep in their own end and this crowd trying to help keep them there. Fires to the right. Got his man! And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. 
Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. And the Red Wolves are in the hurry up. The give out of the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carry. Great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. He lobs one high down the left side. And it's incomplete, going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. Unloads to the wideout. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Really nice job by the defense. Here in the second half, they've got to have the mentality. With the lead, if we just don't give up any more points, we get the double. we got to make big plays on third down. They made a big one there. The Red Wolves will punt this one away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll call for the fair catch here. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. The run to the right. He breaks a tackle. Just wanted to find a little space to run and ekes out some to get it up to the 21. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. What could have been set up in a long yard of situation now becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Off the boot, looking for his man. And the quick shuffle pass underneath. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. This guy fits the bill, big, sturdy Michigan pocket passer. Uh, and it's built on the ground, but I tell you what, when Michigan's had their best teams, they got to have that balance, right? You got to have a guy back there in the pocket that can go through the fake and, and then make the decision, get the ball out, and get some first downs. Pulls and fires complete. Well, the play fake on the RPO bought the receiver some time to work himself open on the route. That was a man-to-man -man coverage on the defense. Nice job by the receiver putting his foot in the ground and separating. Now on second down. Movement here from the tight end. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. Delay of game, game, game. Offense. Offense. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. Looking to throw, it's Orgy. Throws to the tight end. A strike downfield. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. What a great play call offensively. Taking the shot, you flip the field, and now you better get those red zone play calls ready and dialed up. The Wolverines will try to punch it in on first and goal. Looking to throw. Going for six. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch.
Lining up to add another. The kick is up and good and puts one more on the lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Arkansas State ready to go back to work on offense. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard game. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll run it from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense is about seeing it and pulling the trigger. And you can tell they pull the trigger so fast. Get to the back. Get him on the ground quick. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. To the air, it's Rayner. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. And the Red Wolves will try to pin them back with the punt. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the good. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. And come on now, O-line, you got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one to get you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. you got to keep him upright. That is your number one priority. A first down sack can be a drive killer. Now it's second and 13. Leaves it with the running back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong. And I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up. And usually, they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Grabs it at the 25 in stride. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, Wolverines. That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. They'll try to add another to their lead. And they split the uprights on the extra point. They're up 35-14. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score coming on the touchdown pass from 55 yards out. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Arkansas State has it ready to go to work on offense. Looking for a crease. It's cross. Into the pile. Maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. 
He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense. Brings it in down the left side. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Nice strike. Big play in the passing games. I tell you what, find your mismatches, find your advantages, what you do well, and do it again. And then again. And then we know how long we do it again. Keep attacking. The Red Wolves are in the hurry up. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Good spot after that seven yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. The RPO fire complete to the left. Tackled, but he has a first down. Now, I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Going up top on first down. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Red Wolves. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is good, but they still trail 35-21. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. They've got it down to a two-touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now on the same page. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Using his legs, it's Edwards. Makes the stop at the 32, but he picks up 10 on that play. And there's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. One back in the backfield, he gets to carry. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Out of the gun, the running back has it. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to get it through the air. Caught near the sticks, it's Morgan. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. And as a defense, that's why you want to avoid third and short moving forward. It's really hard to defend that slant. That's a bang-bang play. The offense knows they can execute in their sleep. Defense will have to do better early in the drive moving forward. Yeah. 
It's a reverse. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Using his legs, it's Edwards. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. Yeah, and if this offense can keep that rolling, if they can keep the physical ground game and then continue to add these plays up as they go along, long drives, eat the clock with the lead, this coach will be ecstatic. And the Wolverines will snap it on first and ten. They'll give it to him again. They'll give him maybe one on the play. It's down to the 20. Brings up second down. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Been showing them the run. Now they'll throw it. Got it in the middle. It's Klein. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. The Wolverines line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. Now on second and goal. Off the bootleg and rolling out. Using his feet to buy time. And he's loose and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Michigan! Just blinding speed. Speed that almost paralyzes defenders. When you got a quarterback with that much speed, you got to find tricky ways to put more speed on the field, spy the quarterback with somebody that's really, really fast. And even when you do, a lot of times he still makes plays because he's that dang fast and that explosive. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, we'll see if this Red Wolves offense can get moving. They're going to throw it to start the drive. He hurls one deep down the left side. And that will be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter if they could have done it, but second down coming. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Back to throw, it's Rayner. Released to the back. Right on target this time. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I love the job by the receiver there on the curl route against zone coverage because he finds the soft spot, but he also does a nice job coming back to the football. And it's not easy. When your quarterback's got a cannon like this guy does, and he's throwing a bullet at you, there's a lot of guys that would be hesitant and they would want to wait for the ball, not this guy. He lost one down the sideline. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it, but at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it, and the defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. 
Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Finds his man enough for the first. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. They're going to throw it again. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. It has been said that the other team's quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard, and he did. And often is good, too. The most you can get to it, but great job by the defense, rushing the quarterback, understanding pass, and getting the big fella on the ground. That is the last thing you want on first down as an offensive sack. Now it's second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Stevenson. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Well, this tight end can run these crossing patterns, and he can catch the ball against man coverage or zone coverage. That time, nice job seeing the ball in, helping his QB out. The D thinking bring some heat on third and long from the 44. Back to pass, it's Rayner. He's right on target. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. They just keep throwing him the ball this time on the slant. No doubt, and, and you've seen it with the slant. You've seen other routes. Every route he's running, he's good. He seems to be open, so I'm going to continue to pick at this matchup every chance I get. And the Red Wolves had this offense rolling. He'll come out throwing on first down. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. On second down, he'll try to make the connection this time. Extending the play. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. These are the perfect situations you love to be in. Known passing situations. These are not where the offensive tackles want to be. And when you're on the edge and there's no threat of the run, pin your ears back, get the nice first down sack. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. He's got an open man. Putting together a real scoring threat here as they pick up the first down at the 36. Man, I love this guy's toughness. All game long, he's been getting hit. He's been sacked multiple times, and here we are late in the game. He's still staring down the barrel. Gets nailed, but is able to deliver a big completion for his offense. They'll go to the ground. Little too soft in that run defense. He picks up four to the 32. You see, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game thus far. Looking for a man. It's Rayner. Works the middle. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. Well, this offense knew coming into this game they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. The Red Wolves getting set on first and ten. He's got it on the right. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in the pre -snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. The give on the inside. 
Got some room headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Arkansas State! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Follow the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and, you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here's the return from inside his tent. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Play callers love it offensively when you can run the football when the other team knows you're going to do it. That is called imposing your will. And here in the fourth quarter with the lead, very first play of the drive, you break off a nice run. He might just call the exact same play right again here. Right back to the well. Strong, firm tackle. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the offense was going to be able to dig themselves out of this hole, but on second in California, they dial up the running play, now setting up third and short. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of delay game. 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 Offense. Offense. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Setting up the screen. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They showed great trust in their quarterback right there, and why not? He's had an outstanding game. An outstanding game has taken care of the football. Now late in the game, you got the lead. That first down now tells me now it's time to start running the football, run the clock, get out of here with the dub. The handoff keep working on that clock. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. Might as well give it to him again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. They'll run it from the gun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Give to the running back. Discards a man. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. 
And if they can make this and turn it into a three-score game, they'll have this one all but locked up. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And now the lead is extended a little further. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Arkansas State ready to go back to work on offense. Not a lot of hope here, down three possessions late. Now, and I love this part as a pass rusher because I'm just pinning my ears back, getting to the quarterback. I know it's a pass every single time. Palmer, I'm trying to pad my stats. I'm sure you're just trying to stay up. Well, we're definitely just trying to stay alive at this point, but you're also trying to build confidence, too, for your next opponent. If you can find some completions late in the game, even though it looks like you're going to lose it, it's all about building on the good things you do this week so that you're out executing at a higher level the next time. Dropping back, it's Rainer. They get him a brush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it's incomplete way downfield, and the defense rises to the occasion. Here comes the offense on first down. He will take a knee, and the defense can stop the clock one more time, but this one is just about in the books. 